Welcome me, welcome you to the house of you. Why can I never get this right? Welcome me, welcome you to the house of Ebon, where all your dreams come true. You might have thought, oh my god, where is he going? He's leaving? He just got here. I'm out of here. No, sis. I'm not going nowhere. Okay? Just been really going through it. Technology wise, if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. Click the red button, make it gray. Make sure you like and comment on this video. And let's move it right along. I think it was Friday of last week. And I got me some food. I was hungry, so. I got some chicken and spaghetti. Is this is spaghetti. Yeah. Last Friday, I was at work. I was about to head into the building, and I kept dropping stuff. You know, like, I was dropping my keys, my bag, my cell phone. And as soon as I dropped my cell phone, that's when everything just went crazy. So I thought everything was fine after I dropped my phone because I always drop my phone. And so when I started to take some of the kids home that evening, it was like around what, 4.30? My phone started acting up. All right. I have a, uh, I had an iPhone on a 6S Plus. It would not respond to anything. I had to hit it on the steering wheel, bang it on my knee, bang it on my hand, my wrist, my neck and my back. My neck, my back, neck, my pussy and my Like, why are you doing this now? Like, I need my phone. If I don't need my phone for anything else, I need it to contact other people to make calls. And I think it off topic. Well, I haven't had anything to eat all day. Well, I want to say all day. The last thing I had to eat was a very big salad. And I had tomatoes, spinach, lettuce, mushrooms, onions. I forgot to put cucumber in it too. Ugh, I love cucumber and salad. At first I didn't, but now I did. I didn't have a phone on Saturday or Sunday. Or Monday. Or Tuesday. Today is now Thursday. I got my new phone yesterday. And so that whole time, I went without a phone. I went without Instagram, posting to Instagram, posting to Facebook, posting to Twitter, posting to TikTok, posting to TikTok. Like I would get on the computer and go to Facebook and Instagram here and there, but most of the time, after like five minutes of doing that on the computer, I got bored. Cause I'm, normally I'm on a, my phone, and so I got spaghetti in my beer, bro. I don't know what that's about. And so I got bored, you know, and just stopped. So I was mostly either working on grants for Project Great or watching stuff on YouTube or Netflix. And I was able to catch up on watching the rest of this little cartoon I like watching on Netflix called Pinky Malinky. I love that show. It's by Nickelodeon. You should definitely go watch it. It's an awesome show. And what else was I able to watch on Netflix? Um, oh, I watched this other anime on Netflix. Um, it was about, like, I forgot the name, but it was about, uh, I think it was, I know what the storyline is. 
but I'm thinking like it was because of the government. But scientists were trying to figure out how to like get humans to evolve or something. And I guess they were playing around with some chemical or something. And they were testing it on humans, but it got out of control and then humans started turning into flies, which was, it was just weird. But it made me think of the coronavirus and how China doing some shady stuff. Allegedly. Y'all not about to come after me. Throughout the process of not having my phone, I was... Um, I feel like I was able to focus more. And before I even damaged my phone, um, I think a few days prior to last Friday, I had turned off the notifications to TikTok and um, Instagram. So for like, if people like my photos, comment under my photos, or um, I think tag me in anything, I wouldn't get notifications of it. And I did that because I felt like um, the beginning of last week, I just kept, every time my phone would ding, I would just rush to it. And it's like, why are you doing that? Like every time it makes a noise, you don't have to go to it. So I turned the notifications off so I just wouldn't have to deal with that. And so as soon as I do that, my phone gets damaged. So. I just took this whole experience as a learning lesson to not get caught up in like social media and what other people are doing. And so when I do post stuff on Instagram, I try to just post it. I'm spitting. God dang. <laughs> I try to just post it and go about my day. Because not nobody got time to be looking at their phone. 24 7 looking at whether or not somebody is liking the content you've created content you've created I think I'm gonna tell that okay yes I got me mail you better stop I'm talking about it oh god dang bro this is good oh my god but Hopefully I can get keep this like little streak going going without worrying about what's happening on social media. For the past what five days, I really don't know what's been going on, like with pop culture or whatever. And I'm fine with that. Do I got food in my beard? I feel like I got food in my beard, girl. But that is okay. I feel like. More and more people should start doing that, especially young kids. Like, you don't need to go to your phone every five seconds. Trust me, sis, it ain't worth it. It ain't that deep. And another reason I turned off my notifications, because I felt like, since I am trying to be, not trying to be, I am an influencer, because I do have influence. People do watch my stuff. People do engage. Excuse me. But it's like I'm pressured in a sense because I follow other great creators on Instagram and YouTube and always seeing their likes and engagement. It's like, when am I going to get there? But I know it takes time. Ooh, that was a big bite, sis. That was a big bite. <laughs> Swell down, girl. But, that was another reason why I did that. Because I felt pressure to always create. To always try to get the most likes. 
at my level, but I've been just trying to remind myself, like, just post what you want, post what you like to do, and the people will come. They will come, girl. Because the one thing I don't want to do is force it. I don't want to force anything. Mm, I'm supposed to go up. That was my week and weekend. My goal is to focus more on my future and not so much on the likes and engagement. Like I'm gonna make sure I have my core engagement, but I'm not gonna let it derail me. And I'm gonna just make sure you guys have great content, have a little fun. Do a little talk like we're doing here, you know? A little back and forth. So I really wanna know, do you guys keep the notifications on your phone for like all the social media that you have? TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat. And if so, do you rush to your phone as soon as your phone dings? Cause I can't do that anymore. That's why I took it off. I couldn't do it. So let me know down in the comments right now as you're watching me talk to you right now, okay? Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at House of Yvonne and Twitter. I'm sometimes on Twitter, but you know, I, I go ghost sometimes, but I'm there, I'm there, okay? That's what, that's what matters. Also, let me know in the comments uh, what kind of videos or content that you like to see and would like to see from me and I will see you guys soon okay bye